Welcome back guys to the PvP build for the Gold Road chapter today on my Magicka Saucer with a new spare build from the scribing system called Wheeled Soul. Launch a concentrated blast of soul magic at a target, has a 28 meters range, so it's a range spammable. The animation looks similar to Shrouded Daggers. Now as focus script you have two options, physical or shock damage. The physical one costs stamina and the shock damage one Magicka. I prefer the stamina morph, even if it's slightly harder to play a stamina spam on a Magicka also, but the tooltip is slightly higher than the shock damage one and has on top the chance to proc the sanded status effect. For extra damage, minor breach, 3k penetration and gives also 100 extra weapon spare damage. Very nice. If you feel uncomfortable with it, use the shock one, but it's slightly less damage and would only proc the concussion status effect. Now to the juicy scripts. A signature script, definitely this one here. Anchorite's Cruelty. Consumes a soul gem to the 1.5% of the enemy's max HP as oblivion damage every 1 second for 5 seconds, up to a maximum of 1.5k. As extra, it even has an execute bonus implemented, which procs under 50% and deals 100% more damage with a 5 seconds cooldown. 1.5% does not sound much, but keep in mind oblivion damage is unavoidable. It goes through block, shield, armor, crit resistance or any mitigation, even corrosive armor. Most PvP players, except of gankers or bombers, will be at least at around 30k HP, Wardens or Arcanists even over 40k HP. So it hits an average around 400 to 500 damage per second. And under 50% HP, obviously close to 1k damage per second. It's really really strong. God bless the nerf did by a lot, it was at 8% or something like that on PTS. And this is not all. Now I would say the game changer appears the ethics script Major Vitality. Usually on every other skill the ethics script gives minor buffs and debuffs, in this case it's a major one. Not sure if it was intended, but we'll take it. Major Vitality will increase our healing and shield strength by 12% for 10 seconds. So the uptime on it is really high, it's super super broken. Alternative, some other nice scripts like Major Cowardice to reduce your opponent's weapon spell damage by 430, Major Breach for more 6k penetration or Major Resolve for 6k armor for those who need more bar space. So you could simply deslot your armor buff or your Major Breach skill. Now the question is, is it better than Crushing Shock or Crushing Weapon? I would say yes. The Oblivion Damage and the Major Vitality are way better than the increased status effect chance of Crushing Shock or the Major Breach of Crushing Weapon. But I need to say here, it's not a must have. So there is no need to buy the Goldo chapter. But it's something new and viable for PvP in general. So if you want to try it out, go for it. Quick look on the sets. Nothing too crazy, I'm using Crafty Afik on the backburn instead of Redding Cry. Just for old school vibes, if you have Redding Cry already, just keep Redding Cry here. Front bar Reg Vitality for the extra stamina Magicka recovery needed. Death is Fetus Mythic and Shudana's monster set like this have more bar space. I can use Edisas or in this case I'm using Bound Aegis for minor protection permanently. Also 8% increased max Magicka to empower Hardened Ward. As filler 120 for the extra HP, make sure to have a reinforced chest here for the extra resistance. Then I have 3 Impen, with Rain Cry you can obviously swap out the Impen pieces for well fitted or sturdy pieces with 3 well fitted. Make sure to use Prismatic Glyphs on the big pieces and Magicka Glyphs on the small pieces. Then full Arcane on the Jewry, I don't need any Recovery Glyph with full weapon spell damage with the Stamina Recovery Morph. Front by Lightning Staff, obviously for the 12% extra direct damage. In charge with the Poison Damage Enchant. You can also use a Flame Damage if you want for extra burning, but we don't have any Poison ability, so Poison is probably the best choice for the Poison status effect. Sharpened is also an option, since we don't use Crushing Shocks as bearable, but Charge should be still slightly better. Back bar, nice stuff in defending for the extra armor with the escape is Poisons. Skills with Inner Light Front bar for the major Prophecy buff to help Sacred Weight and extra Max Magicka. Hunting Curse, Sounding Soul, obviously as Babel, Crystal Fragment, Streak, SCC, and as Mobility Skill, and still Energy Overload as a Graphs Ultimate. Optional go with Dawnbreaker here or Shooting Star, but Overload is best in slot. A single target burst damage with Overload is just mandatory. Back by Illusas for Major Breach and the three status effects. Hard on board, our Shield, Bound Aegis, like I said before, for minor protection and 8% increased Max Magicka. Search, Dark Conversion, and a second ultimate. I'm using the AoE Atronarch, which now always applies the Concussion status effect. Should be better than the single target morph. Alternative, you have many options, of course. You can also use Still Temporal Guard just as a shit button, but we already have minor protection. 
would be kinda a waste in my opinion, or the Vampire Ultimate, or even Barrier. With Barrier, you even have 10% extra Magicka Recovery just slotted. Or you just go with Life Giver, which costs only 116 Ultimate and is basically a 5 second Immortality, but then you have to slot a Restoration stuff obviously for the Ice stuff and put Edisas on the front bar for Curse on back bar. I personally don't like Curse on the back bar. Since I am a EU citizen playing on an A, I always play with Hyping, kinda hard to time my combination with Curse on the back bar. If you don't have any issues with Hyping, go with Life Giver on the back bar and you're Gucci to go. As Race Dharma, Really helpful with the extra max stamina, flame resistance and weapon spell damage. Second best choice would be probably High Elf and Breton for the cross reduction. Even Khajiit should be possible, but we don't have that much crit rate. Not sure if it's worth. Mundo is obviously the mage. Vamp stage 3 for the Undeath passive. Sugar Scouts for the extra stamina definitely needed. And full attribute points into Magicka. Potion, the tricep potion. Or against Gankers, the detention potion. CPs. Same as usual with more for strikes, steady aim, weapons expert and do a three buff. If you don't use overload, weapons expert is obviously nonsense. Then I would go with master arms for damage or ironclad for mitigation. Red CP sustain per suffering, paid refuge, bastion and slippery. Instead of slippery you could also use survival instincts like I did in the previous patch. But with high ping I prefer slippery, it's kinda hard sometimes to see break. Combination. First of all activate overload. Pre-buff with Surge and Dark Conversion for Minor Berserk. Start to apply Illisas, Curse, Soul, into Streak, into Crystal Fragment. That's it with another PvP build. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.